Hello guys, I am back from another video on this day talking about Deku. Was the embodiment of hope and despair so in the last video of Deku? Well, well, after Izuku wakes up, it's finally the day of the sports festival. Where Izuku saw his mother finally attending the sports festival so she can see Izuku and how he learned from his, well, school, UA. So, after the first um, obstacle race, a aka the first event, Izuku decides to go and get lunch before they can do the second event. So, after talking to his mother about, like, marriage, Izuku explains that he's in love with somebody else. And after Izuku explains that he's in love with, well, Todoroki, and after... And also explain that she's also the daughter of the number two hero. She decides to reject their agreement of like marrying, you know, Momo. But instead decides to ask, you know, Endeavor if they can have her daughter, or should I say his daughter, some hand in marriage. So, after that, it's basically the second event, then the third event. And after the third event, Izuku got third, not really third, more like first place. Bakugo got third place, and finally, Todoroki got second place. So, when it was about to be over, apparently, the so-called celebrity by the name of, you know, wait for a second again, Incombadoria, decides to hold another announcement, which is, well, Izuku's marriage. Apparently, Izuku's going to be marrying Todoroki, and because of that, well, let's just say Momo was not happy about that. So, after that, she left as Momo became angry. Then she looked at the photo of both of them, being her and Todoroki back when they were kids. So, she broke the photo in half, tearing it, as she says this. Fine then, because you stole my man, we're no longer friends. So, yeah, that's basically what happened last episode. So, yeah, so, let's talk about what happens next. So, when Izuku came back to school after the day of the, well, sports festival, everybody started looking at him. As some of the girls say, Hello Izuku, it's super lucky that you're actually gonna be marrying the number two hero's daughter. As Izuku just says this, um, can you please get away from me? I'm currently busy going to school. Or should I say to my class? As several of the boys ask if they can want to, like, um, beat Okumi. Because after seeing his, like, um, badassness, in the, sports, in the sports festival, they wanted to ask if they can be friends. But, but okay, uh, like, in the mirror says, no thanks, I'm currently busy. Mostly with studying. So, after Izuku leaves from that whole situation, he goes back, I meant, he goes to class, I meant. Wait for a second again. He goes to class. When everybody saw Izuku, everybody wanted to ask, what was that, well, power? As Izuku explains that he has a second tie, like a second side to his quirk, which is well his despair form, I guess. As they, like everybody, kind of knows now what his quirk is now, but most of them don't really know. So Izuku had to explain what this actual quirk is. So after Izuku explained, they thought it was really cool. As Bakugo asks Izuku if he's ready to pick his internship, as Izuku just says this, um, yeah, I'm not really ready, so I wonder which people I'm actually going to be intern- wait for a second, intershipping with, I meant, even though it sounds horrible to say. <laughs> so, after a while, it's finally the time that's where they're going to be picking their hero names. So. When Izuku's picking his hero name, Izuku sees Todoroki picking her shit, like, um, that sh I meant her, um, wait for a second. I meant her hero name, not internship, god dang it. So, 
After she goes up into the stage, she says that her hero name is just Shoto. Everybody was just confused, including, well, Midnight. As Midnight says this. So you want your hero name to just be your first name? As she says this. Yes. As she allows it as she goes back to her seat. As she starts picking her internship, which is obviously Endeavors. So, Izuku starts picking his one. As Izuku decides to pick a name that represents his, well, other side as well. As his other side being Okami says this. How if we decide to call ourselves, um... Hmm... I know, Ouroboros. As Izuku just says this. I mean, I guess it's cool, but it will be confusing to say. As he says this. Oh, come on, it sounds cool! As Izuku thought of this. So, when Izuku got on stage, Izuku blurted out his hero name. When Izuku got on stage, Izuku said this. I am the hero of darkness and light. You can call me Diablos Angelos. As all of them say this, Diablos what does? As Izuku just says this. Uh, Diablos means demon and angel or Angelos means angel in Latin. As they say this. Oh, I see. As for Midnight, she says this. I think it's quite an exotic name. I agree with it. So, he gladly, or should I say, she gladly picked Izuku's hero name as Angelos Diablos. So, yeah. So, after Izuku got back to his desk, Izuku starts picking his hero, um, his ear internship. Don't wait for a second again to grab. Sorry about that. That was just the noise from my mother. Izuku picks his hero name. Not really hero name, more like internship. God dang it. So, Izuku starts picking his hero um, agency as Izuku decides to pick Endeavors because, you know, Todoroki's there. <laughs> anyway, so, after that class, everybody started going home and starts getting ready for their internship. So, after Izuku got back home, Izuku starts picking all of his clothes for the internship because it's going to be like a week for them to like stay there until the last week which which is just going to be them going back home so yeah wait for a second again so after Izuku packs all of his things Izuku started leaving to his internship at the hero agency I meant hero agency of Endeavor so after arriving at the agency Izuku meets up with Todoroki Todoroki asks if Izuku was okay, as Izuku just says this, oh, I'm okay, Todoroki. As Endeavor arrives, as he welcomes Izuku with ultimate arms. So, after a bit of like asking what Izuku's career is as a model slash like celebrity, Izuku explains that he is basically like a pop star as well, kind of. He's basically like a J-pop star. And if you don't know what is J-pop, it's basically the better version of K-pop. Not going to explain why, because I absolutely hate, um, well, K-pop. Take a guess why. <laughs> the, the fandom, basically. <laughs> the entire fandom. It's not helping that my, um, like, back in my school, like, K-pop is basically popular in the Philippines, to the point that if somebody says that I hate K-pop, they would instantly ram them on like Facebook or something. Thankfully, back then I didn't have Facebook because I would always rant that like um, K-pop is completely horrible music. As some of my classmates would sometimes like you know try to find my Facebook, but I don't have a Facebook, so yeah, that's basically um, what happens back then, especially in K-pop now. <laughs> anyway. So, after Izuku explains what the actual job is like back then, or at least now, Endeavor decides to show him, like, the entire area of, like, the, um, of his agency. So, after showing him around, it's basically time for him to start doing, well, his true training. Which is basically just, like, um, just a simple, like, patrol mission. So, 
after patrolling the city for a while now, it's not really all that interesting. Until the, um, what do you call this day? Thursday, let's just say that. So, when Thursday comes around, basically something happens. So, when Izuku woke up, he was alerted that there's some sort of villain attack in Shibuya, which is a part of, like, um, Japan, I think. Specifically Tokyo, don't, um, don't quote me on that. Um, I think it might be in a different area, but to, for this sake, let's just say it's in Tokyo, which is where Endeavor's agency is going to be this time. So, when Izuku arrives there, Izuku sees several creatures as Izuku kind of recognizes them as Nomu. Izuku jumps on to the, um, wait for a second, jumps on in there to try and save everybody as Izuku sees some of the heroes trying to fight off these creatures. As Izuku tells Okumi to take control, as Okumi says this, Ugh, fine. Mostly because you did make, well, our mother decide to, you know, as Izuku just says this. Yeah, 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 yeah. let's just do it. As Okumi takes control, as he brings out all of his, well, sharp knives, which are basically like piranhas. So, after they, after they eviscerated all of these nomos that were about to kill all of these heroes, they say this. Uh, who was that? As Izuku just says this, it's me. Wait for a second again, my throat. As one of the heroes said this, wait, you're Izuku. As he says this, sorry, I'm just his other personality. You can call me Okami. Anyway, so where are the other nomos? As he says this, no what? As he says this, alright, alright, shut up, let's just do it. As several Nomus appear, getting ready to kill Izuku and the rest of his students. Not students, I meant, um, um, heroes. So, the heroes fight them off as Izuku starts, um, or should I say Okimi, starts summoning out more of these knives to start eviscerating all of these Nomus. As Izuku sees the real problem, somebody's controlling them. As Izuku sees a girl wearing a normal school girl, like school girl uniform with this weird looking like mask with a needle at the end of this thing. It looks like some sort of like, you know, um, what do you actually call it? Injection thing, like on a, an injection, but it has a tube. So, after Izuku sees her, Izuku thinks that she's probably the ringleader. Or Okumi. So, Okumi starts charging towards her as Izuku gets ready to slice her in half. As she says this, Oh no no, would you ever want your little girl over here to get hurt? As Izuku or Okumi sees, Todoroki captured. As Izuku just says this, What did you do to her? As she says this, Oh don't worry, she's okay, but... If you comply with us, we won't kill her. As she gets a box cutter, getting ready, I meant getting ready to slice Todoroki's throat. As she says this, no, Izuku, please, just save yourself. As Izuku just says this, or Okabe, don't you dare touch her. And if you do, I will have to slice you in half. As she says this, Oh, a bit feisty. <laughs> How cute. So, if you're that, well, devoted to her, maybe try and act more like it. As Izuku starts getting a little bit more mad, aka, um, Okumi. As Izuku just tells him, hey, Okumi, please don't, as he says this. But she got Todoroki. If I were to leave her here, she would, as Izuku just says this, don't worry, just have faith in her. Wait for a second again. So, as Todoroki, or should I say, Izuku and that girl were talking, Todoroki starts creating ice, specifically an ice dagger, or ice, I meant an ice shard, so she can like cut her, 
um, cut her bindings. So, while they're distracted, she breaks free as she tackles this girl to the ground. As Okami says this, Nice one, Todoroki! As Izuku, aka Okami, starts creating these large looking chains that chain her up. As she says this, Duh! Why you? Do you seriously think that these chains can buy me? As another person arrives, this person has several scars upon his body. As he has black hair, as Todoroki says this, Toya, what happened to you? As he says this, oh, it's been a long time, sister. Hmm. So I'm guessing that's your boyfriend. Nice to meet you. But unfortunately, I'm no longer part of the family, so I won't call you brother. And don't call me Toya anymore. Call me Dobby. As Dobby breaks this girl free, as he says this. Okay, Toga? As Toko says this. Oh, I'm okay. So, how about you, Mr. Izuku? Izuku Midoriya, the famous idol? <laughs> If you wanted to ask me to have some fun with you, I would gladly do that for you. But unfortunately, I'm going to be busy. So see ya. But don't worry, I'll leave you some company. As another person arrives, this person seems to have the ability to create swords. Or at least, what he thinks is swords. So, this person looks like, um... Just imagine Kasumi from like um Persona 5 Royal. Just what she that's what she looks like. Wait for a sec. Just imagine Kasumi from like Persona 5, the um Phantom Thief costume, but except it's all white and it has like um gold trimming and also has like um the mask completely red. So when this person arrives, she says this. Hmm. Nice to meet you. You can call me Masquerade. As Izuku just says this. Hello, Masquerade. So, you're daring to try and hurt my Todoroki. As she says this. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I won't attack you, Izuku Midoriya. Or should I say, Okimi. As Okimi says this. How did she know that? The, uh, how? As she says this. So, the fight. As she starts creating swords, as Izuku Okami starts charging in, as he creates these two large swords, which are made from the knives, but except longer and the, um, you know, the handle isn't crooked. So, while they were fighting, Todoroki starts helping him by creating a barrier made out of ice. As, um, wait for a second... Okami starts creating more of these knives and throws them at her. She starts getting slashed, but she starts creating armor. Almost looking like, um, um, the female Gilgamesh from, like, um, Fate, um, Fate, um, Kaldea Light, uh, Khaled Liner, um, what's that called? Um, Prisma Iliad, that girl, the one that had, like, the, um, Archer cards, specifically the Gilgamesh one. That's what she looks like. She gains armor, but except it's the full body armor of like Gilgamesh. As she says this, you really think that you can ever beat me? After all, we used to be classmates. As Izuku just says this, N no way. As Izuku, aka Okami, starts charging in towards her as he uses his gigantic dark arm and crushes the helmet and rips it off her. And also taking off the mask. As Okimi was stunned. As Okimi says this. No way. As Izuku also sees it. No way. The ice arena basically breaks. As Todoroki sees her best friend. Momo Yayorozu. The cameras also see it. The, uh, like, helicopter also sees it. Like, um, the helicopter... I meant the news helicopter also sees it. As, when every 
everybody the famous Momo Yayorozu lining herself or joining the League of Villains it was a dark day as Okumi says this why why did you decide to join the League of Villains as she says this well it's pretty easy you betrayed me Izuku Midoriya as Okumi says this uh, uh, I'm sorry but what as she says this you know that our or should I say my parents decided for you to marry me and only me but your mother decided to let you marry instead that whore that bitch over there as Todoroki says this uh, why did you say that wait for a second Momo why did you say that we were best as she says this we are no longer best friends you stole my man you stole him from me <laughs> he was meant to be mine but you stole him away just letting me suffer why as Izuku or Okumi says this the reason why I decided to marry her instead of you is because of your treatment I saw what you did your cruelty that's not what I want I want a girl that's actually kind like Todoroki as well let's just say she was mad and Izuku told well Momo about this as Momo said this stop comparing me to Todoroki I'm my own person I was your biggest fan when I first saw you I almost felt like we were meant to be we live similar lives but you but you turned out to never love me I'm your biggest fan but when your mother decided to let you marry that that bitch my so called best friend Todoroki I decided to join the League of Villains for several reasons but one of them is to getting you back as Izuku just says this or Okumi getting me back what do you mean by that as she says this oh it's pretty simple making you mine when I become the number one villain I will take you as my husband willing or not and I will kill you Todoroki you damn you damn you damn husband stealer you damn home wrecker now See ya. And also, by the way, you news helicopter, by the way. As she creates a gigantic grappling hook. As she grabs the camera and face it. And I meant, um, I meant face it towards herself. As she says this. And by the way, father. I no longer want to become the heir of that family anymore. Especially that company. I now work for the villains. And when they come back as the number one villain, well, I'm going to rule that company with an iron fist. With you, Izuku, by my side. <laughs> uh, see ya. And by the way, I hate you heroes. As she disappears in black smoke, disappearing never to be seen again after that day many people were terrified after seeing Momo Yayorozu a famous sweetheart and a beautiful woman turned into this monster so after that day and also after the internship they go back to school but with a more drearier well aesthetic now or atmosphere everybody felt 
depressed after seeing that announcement or that well news broadcast. So after that day, they basically left as everybody goes to sleep. So yeah, this will be the end of the episode and I hope you liked the video. Comment and subscribe and I hope to see you guys next time. Bye bye.